a beautiful day to play at the park. carrie -Ann, we don't have any time to play. We've got to get this show going. Okay, maybe later. Gators, we're here at one of the best parks in Polk County. We'll tell you which one later, but for now, let's start the show. GNN starts now. Gators, to start the show, let's fill you in with where we're at. I have a better idea, Carrie Ann. Why don't we give them some clues to see if they can guess where we're at? Okay, sounds great to me. The whole park is shaped like a butterfly. There's a little hill that you can climb up and roll down. And this park was made for children with special needs. Can you guess it? We're at Co Common Ground Park, just one of the many parks in Polk County. What's unique about this park is that it was made for children with special needs. Not just one child, but for all children. While we go check out the park for ourselves, why don't you go listen to Mrs. Butler's message for today. Good morning, Gators. We are celebrating readers today. As you know, readers are near and dear to my heart because I think reading takes you to faraway places and you become such fabulous thinkers simply by reading. I am congratulating Janarian Hudson with 25 points. I am also congratulating Levi Mednick, 25 points. Ethan Prince, 25 points. We are thrilled that Jaquelin Crosley's a reader, 25 points. Kenny Hankins, way to go, 25 points. We are also thrilled that Kaylin Sprague is a reader. My boys are readers this week, way to go, 25 points. Here we go, Brianna Bilbrey, 25 points. Clayton Fredericks, 25 points. Andronique Dunn, 25 points. Bella McCabe's at 25 points. Noah Mednick is at 25 points. Cole Stevens, 25 points. We have more first graders coming up in Miss Dolan's classroom. These 25 point readers are Dorian Creter. Jariah Edler, Megan Elliott, CJ Martin, Brody Ray, DJ Smith. We are so proud of our readers. Congratulations to some of our fourth graders, Katherine Bradford, 25 points, and Justin Wilson in Mr. Hilgum, Miss, Miss Carmody's class, a third grader with 50 points. Can't wait to have more 50 point winners and 100 goal winners real soon. Let's go find out more school news with today's 411. Gators, my name is Hannah and I'm here with your 411. First is today's lunch. Lunch chicken drummies, ham and cheese sandwich and chef salad. Don't forget that milk, Gators. The book fair ends tomorrow. Don't forget to get your books today. Have you been participating in Red Ribbon Week? Friday is your last day to do it. You can wear your crazy socks. That wraps up school news. I'm Heather with your 411. You know what my favorite part about the park is? No, what? That I'm outside and I can sing as loudly as I want. I got squirrels. Squirrels, squirrels in my pants. Wait, stop. You can't sing here. Why? Because people might actually hear what you sound like. Well, I know I'm not that good, but there are three students at our school that can. Let's go find out more about them with today's school reporter, Ashton. Ah, <sighs> there's such pretty sounds this instrument makes. Recently, three students have been recognized for their voices. Three of our students made a Florida All-State Chorus this year. Students audition from all over Florida and to be a part of this chorus. I was really excited because it was just so amazing that I got picked. Because like out of all those people that I've tried out, I got picked. The All-State process has two sections. One is tonal memory and two is singing a song in proper pitch. So they have to show that they can hear a melody and sing it back in the right key. Maybe I didn't look excited, but inside I was screaming my head off. 
he recorded us singing the songs that we memorized and then he sent it to some judges. Polk County only has 13 students chosen. We are the school with the most students chosen out of Polk County. If you want to try out for Allstate next year, keep practicing. This is Ashton reporting for GNN. Hey, do you have the answer to number five? No, that one's too hard for me. I'm tired of all this thinking. Me too. Hey, I have an idea. What? Why don't we give ourselves a break and the people that are watching something to think about? That sounds good to me. Let's see if they can guess the answer to today's academic activity. How do people make government work? That's what we have been learning about this week. Did you know voting is a right and a basis of a functional government? The government is the group of people that run a country. Now what is voting, you might ask? Well, voting lets people know what you think and it gives people the power to make choices. Today in our class, we're listening to some candidates for class president say their speeches. Let's take a look. Hello, my name is Michaela and I am running for class president. I'm eight years old. The most important things to me are God and my family. My three best traits are that I am nice, helpful, and honest. My be three best traits are that I'm a great gymnast, loving, and helpful. I'm very good at writing. As class president, the most important thing I would do is be responsible, helpful, and kind to other students. I am very good at running, taking care of things, and love making new friends. As class president, the most important thing I would do is respect everyone and myself. As a class president, the most important things I would do is make sure everyone is happy and safe from bullies. Please give me your vote on election day. Thank you. Wow! I don't know how we're going to choose from all these great candidates. I know one thing, we're going to have a great class leader this year. Crimson, we've had a great day so far. I think so too. We've slid down the slides, we've rolled down the hills, we've swung on the swings, and we did our homework. There's just one more thing we have to do. What's that? We have to end this show and start our day of learning. Gators, don't forget to stand for the pledge and we'll see you tomorrow morning. Bye.